my task at the moment is to cut all of that out of this sheet of 18 gauge steel. Uh, my 20 gauge hasn't gotten here yet and I'm impatient. So I'm just gonna use 18 for the bottom of that so that I can keep moving along on this project. So, um, so real quick, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how I set up my machine here that I built and, uh, and show you, kind of walk you through just making these few simple cuts with the with the CNC plasma table so so first thing uh, I've got I would do a screen share on this but um, I try to keep uh, I try to keep the other software installed on this to a minimum because it uh, just keeps things simpler and there are less less variables on the on the system so um, just a quick tour I've got a box uh, down on the right side there that's the uh, motor controller box and then the Linux machine is under the left side under that corner. Um, I'm running a Hypertherm PowerMax 45 uh, plasma cutter on this and so I've got that plugged in and the air is plugged into that. Um, so first thing I will turn on the power on the uh, motors down here which is you probably can't see any of this. All right, so now the stepper motors are powered. So I'm gonna fire up Linux CNC, which is the CNC software that I'm running. It's a free machine controller. And this is a little bit of a cockamamie uh, process, getting this thing bo booted up, but it's how I figured out how to do it. So uh, if somebody knows a better way, uh, I'd love to hear it. So let's see, joint two is the Z-axis. And so it's on the limit switch. The X-axis is on the limit switch, so I'm gonna override limits and turn the machine on, on the software side, and you're gonna raise the Z-axis to the material height there. Um, override limits again, increase the jog speed to 60 so we're not here all morning. Turn the power back on, and I'm just watching over here, and that's pretty much exactly where I want it. And so then I'm going to override limits again, turn it on, get the zero off of the limit switch there so that it can do its thing. I'm gonna home that axis. It goes through an automatic homing. Um, then I'm gonna very scientifically measure the distance on the rails here and compare that to the other x-axis motor and it's actually I might be able to come back maybe a tenth of an inch on that joint and I'll just compare it again perfect um, so then we have to shut the whole thing down because if it, if I don't do that, it won't switch into the world mode, which is the mode it needs to be in really to cut. So now I go through and rehome everything, emergency stop off, power on. And then I have to do it in a specific order here. I go zero, three, which is the other x-axis motor. And it doesn't give me any sign that it homed that, but it will throw an error if I don't do it. One is the y-axis, and uh, I've checked that one. And two is the z-axis, and you can see when they're homed.